Although, well, I guess roguelike in general fans, or add-on fans in particular, this is Shadow Fury 333 with a somewhat unusual thing. I kind of embarrassed myself on Twitter yesterday mistaking Shattered Pixel Dungeon for Adom because I haven't seen the new Steam Adom. Actually, I haven't really played Adom much anyway, but I hadn't seen it, so I thought, oh, I saw someone else I know on Twitter who I know likes Adom. And yeah, thought, well, you know what, let's just actually play the game. So I develop at least some familiarity so I know what I can expect. If I see it, and oops. let's fate decide. Okay. <sighs> right, male dark elf with white hair, amber eyes, and a black complexion. So I am a dro, apparently. Oh yeah, I guess dark elf. There we go. I didn't realize quite. I guess the inspiration makes sense. So very typical. I'm not sure hack-like, but definitely very typical D&D-inspired roguelike. Not surprising, one of the earliest roguelikes, as far as I understand. Um, Mother's an enchantress. Father is a shepherd. Okay, parents are cruel. I am sick. I am weak. Am I a mage, then? For the learned elementalist. Yeah, that sounds about right. For what it was... Done. Questions. Hmm. Let's try to be me, I guess. And wait for. Let's see, I agree with him. Train until I get sick, I guess. Now this is mugged. Alert the guards. Hmm. Take the path over the hill so I get a better line of sight. Hmm. See your dropping companions. I hmm. Try and negotiate with the attackers. Advice. I'd try to sneak around. Don't know if it would work, but yeah. <sighs> hmm. Probably leave. Well, I suppose if I'm living at home, I'm probably still someone of a child in this case. In this case, I would probably... Or just the abusive master we were talking about earlier. Maybe I don't want to be nice to them. Maybe I peruse the book. Oops. Hmm. So I'll be learned. And crossbows. My name is Greg. Not very imaginative, but let's go with some... I don't, I don't think this character will survive long enough for it to be worth being imaginative. Alright, let's... Let's go explore the first cave I find, because what... Okay, what do I even have? I should probably should look that up first. I... what? Really? Hmm. 
Wow, I've got a lot of nice stuff. I guess... Might as well put the rings on. Sheesh, why don't I just auto-equip this stuff? Okay, what else do I have? Oh, just wands and potions. Okay. Well... That with the wand webbing, I... This is gonna work. Hooray, it worked! What did I get? Well, nothing's around, so I might as well read the scroll. Wait, that's a thing? Interesting. Huh. It would be nice if you told me what it was. Potion of healing. Ooh, wonderful. All right. That is good to have. But I feel like a cave is a bad place to go initially. I'm vaguely aware there's a town up ahead. Huh. Towns such as these, for instance. All right. Can I talk to people? Aha, uh -huh. okay. I'm apparently a terrifying person. No. Hi. I... Okay. No. Okay, that's the board of the village. And that's Dragon. Which apparently is unable to identify me that's not... Either its mother nor female. So, a very myopic dragon, I'm afraid. Hopefully there's an autometrist in town. And it must be a shopkeep if they're cursing shoplifters. Okay. Do I have a quest list that's running? Oops. Yeah, just double check it. I have my quest list. Mm. Quest. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Should have said Q. That would have been obvious. There's a shopkeeper in town. I heard them cursing shoplifters. I don't have a pet with me, though, so I can't shoplift myself. Unless there's some other way of doing it. And, yeah, I... I may not have played Adam, but I've played lots of NetHack. As I'm sure pretty much anyone who's had any casual exposure to roguelikes has. Good job. Alright, what do I... What? Oh, right. L is look. Sorry. Do I have rations? I don't think I do. I have spider bread. Money do I even have? Is that my cash? Eed. How much gold do I have? 148. I do not have enough to even buy a single ration. Oh, never mind. That's 200 stones, 33 gold points. Let's grab a couple then. Yes, I do. Right. Oh. There we go. I have to be next to them? Okay, I can't just pay remotely. Interesting. Uh, this must be another shopkeeper here for weapons, then. I'm not sure why I'm talking to the children. I don't think they have anything of value to say. I mean, they might. I don't want to be ageist here or anything, but I imagine that there's not a lot of people other than, say, shopkeepers with much of value to say. And the occasional quest giver, like that person who basically told me to go to the southeast. <laughs> Although I'm aware that there's a dog quest that involves talking to a child that I'm not supposed to take because it's suicide. Which I won't take because it's suicide unless I accidentally take it, in which case that's going to be a very sad child. Because I won't be completing that quest anytime soon. I'll probably end up dying beforehand if I don't die during. I'm hoping to be more music here, though. 
No, do not attack the the town's water dragon. Seriously, a Hamlet that just sells... Actually, no, I guess it kind of makes sense a Hamlet that just sells food. It's just... By video game logic? Not really? I don't know. It occurs to me. What spells do I have? Oh! Of course! There we go. I mean, if I'm playing a wizard, I might as well... Or mage type. Caster type. I might as well be casting spells. Oh, magic. Oh, okay. Using PowerPoints. Typical roguelike design. Oh. No. Not exhaust myself. That would be probably unwise. How much health does this thing have? Well, it doesn't even damage me. So, yeah. Level one. Halfway to the next level. Now, I'm curious if Adom is the type of game where you actually face harder enemies when you gain experience, or if it isn't. So far, it does seem to be a bit more of a band-like, other than a hack-like roguelike. So, that would lead me to believe that it would be... Oh. Burning Hands is cheaper. It would lead me to believe that it is not going to scale enemies with my level, so I can level up without worrying about everything becoming harder, but that is not guaranteed. Can I not see my enemy's health bars? Ooh, what is this? Oh, sling. Eh, whatever. That will be useful if I find rocks. Last thing I want to be doing is engaging in close-range combat. Actually, I'm curious... No. Is drink. Okay, potions of healing do not get me up beyond max health. Good to know. What else do I have? Carrot juice. That seems like it's probably just dipping fodder or mixing fodder. Assuming this game is an alchemy system. What the heck is this? Ow. The rabid dog. I wanted to get both of them at the same time. Who's a skill to improve? Well... There we go. Actually, can I get... Ah, I do get information on this, because I want to know, what does Concentration do? Ah, perfect. Okay, so I do want Concentration up. I'm guessing Literacy is Scrolls. Oops. Wait, what? What was my full... Sorry, I'm trying to remember what my full character information screen was. Alt-Q. Okay. Where are my skills? Oh, there they are. Yep. Finity with crossbows. Now all I need is a crossbow. How tough is this thing? Just burn it. No! Wasted energy. Eh, whatever, they're not... They're not bugging me, I'm not gonna bug them. They do look like they want to bug me. Hooray for ashes. Alright, so...
Now here I'm just, I am really hoping that this isn't working like that hack and I'm gonna end up facing hugely tough monsters. Which I may, for all I know. Oh. Yay, another talent. Because I feel like I might have screwed something up at some point. Alright. Hmm. I don't really care about affinity. Nothing spellcaster. Oh. There is something spellcaster oriented. How much? I don't have enough. I have a thousand stones carrying capacity total, which is the weight of the anvil. No thanks. I don't think I need an anvil. Now, a question I'm having here is, appropriate key, does that mean that there's, oh shoot. Does that mean that there are specific keys that I need to get, or it's just, oh. Or is it just that I should be bashing the door down, because frankly I'm not going to find the key no matter what. Oops. Oh, thankful that. Actually, you know what? Maybe that's the reason for this goblin to exist. No. Can I eat the corpse? That might have been unwise. But I didn't. There's no visible food poisoning, so all I know is that I'm probably okay. But I feel like the rat might be unwise. So let's not eat the rat. Yeah, like I said, I'm assuming this game is more of a band-like than a hack-like, meaning that this is not as randomly generated. And the dungeons probably are randomly generated. I'm guessing it's like... Oops. I'm guessing it's like Tome, where everything's randomly generated, rather than being... Oops. Like, it's dungeons are randomly generated, but the overall world is set. I'm fairly certain that's how Adom works. What is that key? Bash the thing down. There's Doors Environment. Kick! There we go. That's on K. Ow. Oh, that was a trap. Okay, that makes sense. I'm thinking, I really hurt myself by 12 hit points by bashing a door down? Sheesh, this game is brutal. No, not quite. Pretty close, though. Sheesh. What if I throw... Oh, come on. Let me just improvise throw. Wait, improvise throw thing. I just want to throw the potion of confusion, see what happens. Hmm. Does not appear to be the case. Okay. Well, that's annoying. I don't seem to be able to do anything in that regard. Unless I miss something. Die. Shoot, throw a missile. Is there a quivering option? Hmm. Missiles. Ocean of confusion. Hey, it works! Yeah. Sheesh, I wonder how much this matters. Let's find out, shall we? How much does my own skill and weapon make a difference? And actually, I, guess I can't really easily find out, can I? Is there anything I have here to find out? Plus one bonus to hit. I imagine that any weapon is not going to be that useful. Let's continue. What's this? I wonder. All right. Oh. Brilliant. Right. Burn the bat.
What? <sighs> kind of wish I still had that healing potion. Or that the healing potion had the effect I expected, namely that would increase my max health when I was close to max health. What is... okay. Does healing actually increase how quickly I heal? Because if that's the case, I might want to get that. My weakness, critical hit, so I thought. Healing... Yes, I might want to increase that. Increase this. I'm clearly having a hard time with traps, so is there... No, that's the most my alertness can be. And concentration because I am a spellcaster. A hand axe. A longsword and a hand axe. What is, what is my current... Oops. Plus two bonus to hit and everything. Well, that's cool. Okay, is there an untrap command? It occurs to me that I might have missed that. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I didn't have to do it the way I did it. Zap! Anything? So I wonder how I know if something's a trap. It's one thing that bothers me ever since that one trap hit me. Which I'm still recovering from. Well, actually, the boulder trap is the one I'm recovering from. Flame trap didn't help either. Alright. 12 out of 22. I'm not dead yet. Although I'm going to assume that dying is one of those things that can just sort of happen all of a sudden if you're at half health. Now, wait. I'm just going to assume that all monsters are actually hostile, or at least intend to do me harm. Nice. Cut that own thing up. What is here? Ah, shoot. Well, arrows aren't bad. Nah, I want, well, I guess, nah, whatever. If I get a bow, I might as well have the arrows there. Hey, a scimitar. Oh, saber, never mind. Kind of wish... Although it occurs to me right now, granted that's a plus one, which is nice. And it's actually better than the hand axe, so I'll go with that. But it occurs to me, I forgot that cursed weapons are a thing, and I might want to be careful about that, and I've probably been lucky that no cursed weapons have come into my position yet. Does this game have bones files? I guess it's irrelevant given that this is my first game, but... If it has bones files with angry ghosts that curse all their stuff when they die... That would be a problem. Hmm. I'm a little curious what the recommended first starting class is. I doubt Elementalist is it, but maybe it is. I mean, at this point, I'm level 4 already and haven't really taken much threat life-threatening damage, so... Nor has anything really been able to hit me. Although it occurs to me that this is a semi-pre-made dungeon, if not a fully pre-made dungeon, which means there might be a boss monster at the end. That just seems to stand to... What the heck is this thing? Ah, the classic floating eye. Wait. Ooh, do I get telepathy? What? Oh. Actually, curious me, I have no way of making myself go blind at the moment. But maybe there's a blindfold. I don't know that. For sure. Whether or not there is. But, ooh. Boost this up. I can boost this up. That achievement seemed trivial, but that's fine. Sometimes achievements aren't the biggest thing in the world. 
That was one of those times. What is this? It is a quarterstaff. Meh. Alright. I don't... Ooh! New stuff. Okay. Good to know. That's how that works. I do not want to wear that until I get it identified. Call me paranoid, but I have been strangled by too many amulets in my life. In my, well, I guess not my life, because it did kill me immediately afterwards. But in my experience, I have been strangled by too many amulets of strangulation to put on random amulets I just find on the ground. Oh. That was not the spell I intended, but that's interesting. A jackal. Oh, did it replace Frost? Oh, okay, it's a slightly weaker version of Frostbolt. Heavy Skull Club, don't really care. Okay. Well, this is going surprisingly well for my first time playing this. This, I mean, I guess this is the tutorial dungeon, I'm guessing. It's considerably easier than the rest of the game, I would imagine. Am I anywhere near... Okay. Club wouldn't be bad. Apple, I'm just gonna eat the bloody thing off the floor. Ew. Apple worm is the worst thing to find in an apple. Are these... Okay, are those shortcut keys? Like, I'm not finding any keys. Which makes, makes me suspect that maybe those are supposed to be for when you leave the dungeon? And you get out of the dungeon successfully, you leave the dungeon, that's your shortcut? Guess we'll find out. What's my fortune? That's a pretty good fortune. Though I was kind of hoping for a bit of a... I don't have the appropriate key. Does this work? No. Oh, okay. Worth the risk, I guess. Oh. <sighs> you have this strange feeling I made life easy for myself by using spells everywhere that I can. Because spells just don't get me killed. I mean, think about it. I'm I'm far away. I'm not under threat. I'm completely incapable of figuring out relative location. What is this thing? Lizard man. And with my super high concentration skill, I'm getting my power points back really easily. Ow. Hooray! Double kill. And still no crossbow? Still no crossbow. But okay, I got rocks. I can make use of a sling if more for the fact that I've... Well, I have a sling already, so it's not the biggest deal. I just... Oh, wait. Missile weapon. There we go. I have... Oh! A massively reduced bonus to hit. Interesting. How did that happen? Because I have the longsword and the saber. When I first put them on, I had the increased chance to hit... Does the sling mess with that? No. Having the saber mess with that? No. Huh. Weird. Alright, well. Might as well go with that. I'm assuming that I can just throw if I need to. Not that I really need to. I mean, at this point, I've got... I have enough power points to last me most fights. When I'm one-shotting everything. Well, risk... Oh, right. Your thought's gonna reflect. I don't have a huge amount of armor. What's the spell failure chance? There doesn't appear to be a spell failure chance. 
Okay, what? No. There we go. What do I have that I don't need? I... Oh, I have a scroll of uncursing of all things. Well, that's handy. So I guess... Let's try the leather armor, see what happens. Alright, so it appears that I'm able to just wear leather armor and not really worry about it. There's got to be some catch to that. There's always a spell failure chance or something when you have armor, but I guess not. Spells. No listed spell failure chance. So, cool. Okay. Well, I'll just wear the armor then. That sounds very handy. Additional armor. I mean, I haven't really been in threat of death yet, but... Okay, I don't want to get that. I'll grab the power bar when I need the power bar. Whoa, what is this? Oh. So they're hostile to each other. And now they're hostile to me, so they will burn and die. Metal cap, well, it might be cursed, but hey, who cares? I can uncurse things! Unless the weapons, in which case I probably can't uncurse them. Uh, what do I have to drop? Oh, I don't need this. I'm not using the hand axe at all. Saber, what does wonders? Open the door. That. Okay, what am I up against? Is that the... I'm just going to assume that guy is... Here. Is that... Yarod the healer is not injured. Seems to be peaceful. Hooray! I guess I'll chat with him. Sure. Alright. Okay, I guess they're just hanging out here. Cool. I wish these had crossbows, because I wouldn't mind a crossbow, but... meh. Spells have been serving me beautifully, so I don't really need to worry about it too much. And of course, there's nothing around me, so might as well read the scroll. Uh, oh, good. My longsword is enchanted! Hooray! Now it's only a minus one bonus to hit, which hasn't really been a problem. Alright, so there's a healer on floor 5, I guess this is? Oh, floor 4. Actually, is there a way to... I guess it doesn't really matter, but... I feel like I should be opening doors diagonally just in case traps happen or enemies pop out. Chaotically aligned. Am I chaotically aligned? I should be. I would imagine. I'm a dark elf, and... Doesn't... Where's my alignment? Maybe it doesn't tell me what my alignment is. That would seem unusual. Mentalist, I got... Nope. If I have my alignment, may... I may have missed my alignment. Somewhere around here. I apologize if I, if I have. I do not see the alignment anywhere on here. Not to mention I have nothing to sacrifice. Oh, I guess I have some corpses upstairs. Hey, another one of you. Ghost bat. Oh. Get me more magic points. 
Give me all the magic points. Well, I mean, not quite all the magic points. I actually could use some... Oops. That works, too. And... I almost feel like I should just get something for sores, because I'm using them. What else do I have available to me? The other one's faster. Hmm. Am I always going to be fighting with this? Oh well, I seem to be leveling up fast enough that it's probably worth doing. Minus 8 bonus to hit? Why is my... My melee bonus is going down. Hang on. Nothing here is... What I'm assuming is possibly that my items are getting damaged. But that doesn't appear to be the case. I don't see any mechanical element that implies damage. Or that otherwise... Okay, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> hey, Yara, actually, nah, I don't need to worry about Yara too much. Actually, oh no, I'm healing relatively quickly, actually. I like that. Is that a crossbow? Oh, it's just clothes. I'm already dressed. Ooh. Ah, of course I don't. I'll kick it down later. Okay, so... What's my to hit chance now? Plus one bonus to hit. I've got to figure out what's affecting this. Is it... Okay, tactic does affect this. A lot. Okay, so normal tactic plus one. I guess it is it must be automatically t setting my tactic for me. I feel like I should probably be going more on the defensive side. Nothing. Oh, pff, key. Nothing's next to me, so I feel like defensive would be wise. What are you? Not to mention, I'm mainly using magic, so why not? This has been a very lucrative dungeon so far. Can I get more defensive than very defensive? No, I guess I can't. That wouldn't make sense. I, that's very defensive. How much more defensive could you be? I... No trap. There is a spider. Hmm. Well, worth trying. Hey, it works! I was a little worried that that would actually cause him to get trapped or something. It is a web. That seems something I do not want to mess with. Okay, nothing here. Let's kick these doors down. I guess waking up monsters isn't really a thing in this game. And that's the thing I'm most worried about when it comes to kicking down doors. I realize I got hit by a trap earlier, but... Yeah, kicking down doors is the thing. If there's anything I'm worried about, it's kicking down doors, causing monsters to wake up and come at me, but there aren't enough monsters for that to matter. I guess I can't close doors behind me if I kick them down, but that hasn't been an issue either. What are you? You are a caveman. Are you hostile? You are indifferent. Oh, okay, cool. You, you do you then. I'm assuming the large jackal does care about me and wants me dead. A desire about which it can do nothing. For I have bested the small dog. I guess it's the large dog, actually. But it has been bested regardless. The appropriate key. Are there appropriate... Okay, gelatin's cube. Are there appropriate keys here? Burn! That should have been burning hands. That was a mistake on my part. Ill Orc Sergeant, I'm going to assume 
The Elderic Sergeant. Oh, indifference. Cool, okay, sure. If you're okay with me, I'm okay with you. Whatever. <laughs> So, are these guys? Yeah, they're... They don't care. What about you? Doesn't care. Huh. I... Really? Huh. Oh. Okay, so there's a... Looks like a goblin shaman in there. Guess that's what it is. Goblin Berserker, who is hostile. Let's take the fight to the hallway. So I don't actually piss off the people who are indifferent towards me. Despite their hostile comments. I guess I would follow their arrows if I wasn't also a dark elf and they were racist like that. Presumably. I mean, that's a typical thing. I don't oh. know. I am likely to be eaten by a group. Is that actually a mechanic in this game? Or is that just a joke? Oh. Hostile. Okay, well, I guess that would have been a problem. Ooh. Wow. What? Well, okay. I guess that's not unexpected, but... What the heck killed me? Huh. Well, that's embarrassing, but I figured that would happen. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner, honestly. Well, it's been 40 minutes, so I think I'll end it there. But now I have developed at least some knowledge of what Adom is. Wow. What was the Invisible Stalker? Yeah? Ah, I probably should use more magic wherever I was swinging. Alright, well, that's a thing. Bear in mind, I basically know nothing about Adom except don't take the dog quest, and that wasn't the dog quest, as far as I know. So, hey, I think I did okay for the first time playing, but yeah. Alright, so that was me trying to redeem myself for having misidentified Adom. Now I know a bit more what Adom looks like, especially what Adom's end screen looks like, which was the actual thing that I, identified, that I embarrassed myself with. Yeah, I forgot that it was basically using not I. And thus it does this text thing whenever it can, and well, whenever it has to is the text thing, and otherwise does tiles only during the game. So yeah, that was that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my fumbling and dying as an elementalist, although I think that I... I'm not sure if that was a good class or a bad class to choose. It seemed to work pretty well until that invisible stalker came up and killed me. Because nothing else could actually touch me, because I just killed them before they got close. That's the thing that magic does. Especially when you don't have spell failure chance and you have tons and tons of power points and they regenerate really fast. Compared to, say, NetHack, where you have, like, two or three spells, and you might have Force Bolt at best, not getting things like Fireball, Fireball, Burning Hands, like, three or four different spells that give you a bunch of power to attack with. And leveling up doesn't cause everything else to become suddenly stronger to try to kill you more easily. So, yeah, that was me playing Adom. Hope you enjoy that. Have a good night, everyone.